I recently ran across a textbook company, a Christian textbook company, that has, among other things, textbooks on Christian math. I'm not even kidding. You know this is going to be rich, because talking about something like Christian math is like talking about carpeted speech giving. These two things are not supposed to be used together in a serious way. But maybe I'm being unfair. I haven't even given them a chance to explain what Christian math is. Let's see what they have to say. The Christian approach to teaching elementary math begins with knowing and teaching that reality does have structure and order. Oh, that's actually perfectly reasonable. Because it was created by a rational, orderly God. Ugh. Is that like my job now on YouTube, talking about presuppositional apologetics and transcendental arguments, all this stupid stuff? Okay, what do they say? They said that students need to know that the universe is rational and orderly because it was created by a rational, orderly God. No. That is completely unnecessary. That's like saying that in order to understand that this calculator is black, I have to know that it was made by Texas Instruments. Because, <laughs> you know, otherwise how would I possibly know that this thing is black? This black thing that is black. The students will find exactness, preciseness, and completeness in the subject matter of mathematics, just as would be expected in God's world. You know, I really want to see if any students are actually learning math like this, so that I can just sort of wait until they start to learn about black holes, where, you know, the math breaks down, you get some divide by zeros, and then they're like, Why, God, why? You said it would be precise and complete! Ah! That would be funny. <laughs> As the content of the math curriculum and the textbook has reason and order to it, so the math class must itself be taught according to an organized, reasonable plan. Wow, really? An organized, reasonable plan? You don't say, hmm, man, I, I was going to use an unorganized, unreasonable plan, but I guess I can't because it's a math class, you know? Just like how in English classes all the homework assignments are written out as metaphors. Silly me. The elementary student does not need to understand 2 plus 2 equals 4 in order to learn it and use it. He will learn the abstract principles later. But the elementary student does need to see his multiplication tables as part of the truth and order that God has built into reality. From the Christian perspective, 2 plus 2 equals 4 takes on cosmic significance, as does every fact of mathematics, however particular. I like how it says that the student needs to understand this, and then stops, as if that's the most obvious thing in the world. You know, it's like, oh, well, in order to know that this disposable waterproof camera is waterproof, you need to know that it was a Fujifilm product. Because, you know, it's not like you can just put it in water. <laughs> I mean, what is that? That's, that's a dumb idea. So it's pretty much exactly what I said at the beginning of the video. Christian math, carpeted speech giving, stupid ideas.